Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at an example of applying George Polia's four-step problem-solving approach to problem-solving. Here's the question. In the sequence 16, 80, 48, 64, A, B, C, D, dot, 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 each term beyond the second term is the arithmetic mean of the previous terms. What is the value of D? Looks like we're not going to be able to take any shortcuts here. And first, let's make sure we understand what this arithmetic mean is. That just means that you take the two previous terms. So for example, the 48 is the result of doing 16 plus 80 divided by 2. And then 64 was the result of taking the previous two terms, 80 and 48, adding them up and dividing by 2. So that's what it's asking us to do. Now we have to determine the value of D based on this. Okay, well, it looks like we can't take any shortcuts here. We're gonna have to start with A. To figure out A, A is gonna be the mean of 48 and 64. So what number is exactly halfway between 48 and 64? Well, if you plug, if you add them together and divide by two, you would get 56. Or if you know that they are 16 units away from each other, then you know it has to be eight units either way, but that's a little fancy. So we'll just stick with adding them up and dividing by two. Okay, so now we know that A is 56. To figure out B, we would take the previous two terms. That would be 64 plus 56 and divide by 2. Well, 64 plus 56 is 120, and 120 divided by 2 is 60. Okay? You see, this is kind of like going back and forth, right? It's low, high, low, high, but they're getting, they're getting closer and closer together. Okay, to figure out the value of C, we would add up A plus B. That would be 56 plus 60 divided by 2. This would give us an average of 58. And then, now we know C is 58. Last but not least, the value of D. So the value of D, we're going to take the two previous terms, B and C, 60 and 58, and add them up and divide by 2, and that will give us 59. So we figure out here that the mean is 59. Sorry, not the mean. We figure out here the value of D is 59. 